If you weren't a singer, what would you be? Uh, property developer. Uh, what's the strangest job you've ever had? I was a brick labor's no, a bricklayer's laborer for uh, six months. What's been the most stressful moment in your career so far? Um, singing for the Pope at Crow Park. That was the most nerve-wracking experience of my life. Uh, I was on before Andrew Bocelli and I've never been shaken as much. I was literally couldn't hold the mic, it was like this. What's one job you'd like to do for a day? Uh, I'd love to become Jeremy Clarkson on the like of a Top Gear show or something. I'm mad about cars, so yeah, that would be the dream job, I think, of all time. If you could only eat one food, what would it be for the rest of your life? Um, chicken chow mein, mad into Chinese mm -hmm. food. What's one thing people don't know about you? Probably that I'm a car addict. I watch YouTube, Every day, uh, looking at cars, new cars, old cars, engines, um, what's coming out next year. Just obsessed with the uh, the whole car industry. Uh, what car are you driving at the moment? Uh, I have a few. I have, uh, I have a VW van, uh, I have a Bentley Mulsanne, and I have an Audi R8. What album do you go to to listen to all the time and never get sick of? Um, there's a country singer called Phil Vassar and um, he's a greatest hits album and no matter where I am whatever car I'm driving where I'm going I'll generally put that on it'll be the first one that I go to um, it's an amazing album uh, recorded in Nashville about 15 years ago maybe who is yeah. the most interesting person you know I'm gonna offend someone on it here family wise probably my nan because she just she surprises us all the time with her energy and her uh, work ethic. She's just like a 17-year-old freight train, just doesn't let anyone stop her. She's, she's amazing, yeah. Uh, what do you think is overrated? Some of the shows on Netflix. I watch some of them and I go, this is awful. Rotten Tomatoes often gives stuff like 95% and I watch it and I go, I wouldn't give it more than 50. So yeah, yeah. Rotten Tomatoes is overrated, definitely. Uh, what do you think is underrated? Peace and quiet, yeah. I don't think we appreciate <laughs> peace and quiet enough. Uh, I live in the sticks in Fermanagh and they get back sometimes and I just sit there for like 10 minutes listening to nothing and it's so underrated. What is the last show that you've binge watched? Succession on Netflix, or on Prime, sorry. It's on Amazon Prime. Really good show and there's a new season coming out, I think next week. Yeah. What is the most fascinating <laughs> fact? that you know in a bookies in a, book, a bookmaker's shop there's there's five tills generally and there's only one that pays out there's four that you place your bets on four tills to place bets and one that pays out uh, what is your greatest new discovery uh, I bought a, <laughs> uh, a lawn mower that goes on the back of a quad and yes. uh, it's two wheels and an engine and blades underneath and you can ride the quad with that on and I think it's the best invention that I've seen in a long time. What's your goal to song if you sing in the shower? Frank Sinatra, um, New York, New York, generally, yeah. Okay. If you get married, what's going to be your first dance? Leanne Womack, I hope you dance. Uh, what's the weirdest food combination that you enjoy? Um, I love uh, dairy milk chocolate and smoky bacon crisps put together. Sounds really weird, but don't knock it till you've tried it. What's your most treasured possession? Probably my accordion. Yeah, I, uh, although it gets bashed about the truck all the time, but whenever I see it, I'm like, oh, this is, I love this piece of genius down here. Unfortunately, I can't play it that well, but I've, I love it, you know, and I uh, yeah. try and take as much care of it as I can. Uh, what's one item on your bucket list? I've, I've just, last year I took up doing a bit of surfing down in Donegal by the beach uh, and I don't own a surfboard so this summer I'm definitely going to buy one. Uh, I don't know how I'm going to get it down there. I don't think it'll fit in the van. Maybe it'll go on the roof. There you go. That's 20 questions, Nathan. We got quick. there. That was very quick. Uh, Nathan, it's lovely to chat to you. You're coming back to Clarny the 12th and the 13th of May uh, yeah. and the 14th of May as well, should I say. Um, this year, so we're looking forward to it. Thanks very much. Yeah. Hopefully, see yeah. one out the IDC in May.